Now, throughout this course, we're going to create apps that will primarily run on the simulator, but sometimes we'll create an app that needs the special things available on your device, such as a cellular network and things like that. And certain things in the iOS can't really be simulated. You need a real device. So if you have a spare device, then you can install iOS 11 beta. Now, bear in mind, it's a beta, and that means things will break. That's why I say use a spare device just to test it out. If you don't have a spare device, then it's totally up to you if you want to install it on your main device. But prepare to be frustrated when certain things don't work. OK, now that I've said my piece, let's look at how we install iOS 11 on your device. Grab your device and you'll see it's very, very easy. With your device open and unlocked, open up Safari. And in a new tab, head over to beta.applebetas.co forward slash iOS. And when you hit go, you might be presented with this screen. If that happens, just hit refresh and you should get a profile installation. Make sure this is verified from Apple so you don't install any malware. And then simply click install. Enter your passcode. And when that's done, hit install and consent to everything that comes up. I'm not going to click that right now, otherwise, my recording will stop. And once you've restarted it, and with the magic of screen and editing, you can see I've restarted mine in a few milliseconds. All you then have to do is head over to settings, go down to general, and then inside of here, we want to find our software update, which should be near the top. It will check for the update and tell you there is an iOS 11 update available. All you have to do is click download, install, agree to everything, and then wait a good 10, 20 minutes for that process to complete. Once it's done, I'll come back and show you what that looks like. And here we have it, the brand new iOS 11 on my iPhone 7. There are a couple of changes. You can see the icons are kind of rounded. And if we swipe up, that's completely changed. But I do kind of like it. This brightness and volume is really accessible now, whereas before it was a bit fiddly to actually access. If we swipe down, we see some neat animations. I actually like that it blocks out the background. It looks very nice. Scroll over to news and weather. Hmm, very smooth, quite smooth. It's, it's a bit more smooth than iOS 10 was when that first came out as beta. So overall, so far, I'm impressed. Are you impressed? Do you like the new look? If you do, please comment. If you don't, please comment as well. I want to get a whole range of opinions on this.